some muscle activity. The patient's a little tense here. And this could be an abnormal spike here. Looks a little sharp. But as we continue to scroll on through the recording, you know, more of the background rhythm, that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So a nice little alpha rhythm. Normal until it's not, right? And then we got these little spikes here, which I think are abnormal since it, we've seen it a couple times now. And continue to go on, got some muscle activity. Um, oh, starting probably around here. And seizure goes on. Oh, this one's kind of long, or more than uh, 10 seconds. Pretty interesting. And it's definitely atypical. Not your typical absence seizure, guys. So this is a super interesting EEG example for us to look at here. And now we get back to the background rhythm, scrolling through. Now that we know what to expect, we can go a little bit faster, speed it up. Oh, we got another little, se little seizure here. And so in these events that the patient is having, they're probably going to be staring off into space and you should ask them orientation questions while they're having these absence seizures. Let's say we see the spike and wave activity start to happen. We give them a code word, let's say blue dog, something like that, or red truck, something random that they wouldn't know. And you can ask them to repeat the code word afterwards and you can make a note on the EEG recording for the doctor to make note if the patient can recall their code word or not. Let, more than likely they will not be able to because they will be unconscious staring off during their absence seizure. Now as we continue to go on it seems like this patient is having them pretty often. Um, yep see they started up having another seizure here. So a lot of the times these absence seizures go unnoticed because or their frequency is kind of hard to determine unless you have them on EEG monitoring. So that way the doctor can quantify how many of these seizures is the patient actually having and they can give the patient medication and hopefully decrease the frequency that they're having these staring spells or absence seizures. There's another one. Here's some muscle activity. Patient's getting a little tense there. And we continue to scroll on. Let's see. Nice little period without any seizures. Uh, we can go on. Oh, yep. Here's the start of another one. You can really tell after seeing a few of these that they really stand out from the background and they're pretty pretty easy to spot. So if you're a beginner EEG technologist, absence seizure is probably one of the first seizures that you learn to recognize on the EEG. Now remember these look slightly different because they're not symmetric three hertz spike and wave like a classical absence seizure, but these look pretty similar, you know, they're pretty generalized happening throughout the whole brain so this is a pretty cool example to look at now we're about 20 minutes in we've seen a bunch of these atypical absence seizures in this patient and it looks like also in the 01 and 02 area there's these interictal spikes single spikes that happen in between this patient's atypical absence seizures now, as we scroll on, we can see another one of those spikes looks like most prominent in 01 on the left back side of the head. And we keep going, some muscle activity here and the beginning of another seizure. Scroll through it. We've already seen a bunch of those already. Now, a way to easily quantify how many of these atypical absence seizures is the patient having, we can open up the trends window and we can see with each of these red choppy flames that represents one of these short little seizures that this patient is having and since they're generalized they'll show up in all four 
of the FFT Trends windows pretty equally. Now, if we click on each of the little choppy flames, it'll take us right to a seizure. Now we'll do it again. This one seems to be a bigger flame and we can see, look, it's a little bit longer of a seizure. Now we can go to this one. This one might be one of the longest ones since it looks like it's maybe the biggest flame out of, out of the trends panels. And it looks like that because it's essentially two seizures kind of back to back. So it's kind of like two for one right there. Now the trends was pretty good to count essentially at a high level how many seizures is this patient having now in this patient's case they're having them pretty damn often so hopefully the doctor can make some changes to the medication that they're taking and reduce the number of these staring spells also if you want to do your own full brain eeg recordings i can teach you even if you have no experience from scratch with my eeg machine Check it out on my website, ioneeg.com. Thank you guys, and I'll see you all on the next EEG video. We're back for 2025, baby.